Today I'm going to talk about what I packed for my trip to Amsterdam and Bruges. If you're not familiar, uh, Amsterdam is in the Netherlands and Bruges is in, uh, is in Belgium. We are going for 10 days, but two of those are travel days, so really we're going to spend eight days in the city. We're going to first uh, go to Amsterdam, and then from Amsterdam we're going to take the train to Bruges, and then we're going to head back to Amsterdam for another day or two. I actually think it was one more day. And then we're going to head back to the airport and come back to the US. So packing for this trip uh, was a little bit tricky. At first I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to try to do everything on a carry-on for uh, the 10 days. But then once I started packing, I realized that mm, my carry-on is just not going to be big enough, especially since it's going to be cold and cold weather clothing. As you know, it's heavier, thicker, so it takes up more room in your suitcase. So I had to basically, you know, eliminate my carry-on, but I didn't want to take my huge suitcase because since we will be traveling from Amsterdam to Bel uh, to Bruges, I didn't uh, want to take a really heavy uh, suitcase with me while we're walking and traveling. Um, it just it just gets in the way. I don't like big bulky things, especially when I know I don't really need a huge suitcase for 10 days. So my solution was to finally purchase the medium size away suitcase. So I have the carry-on away and I, like I said, I tried to fit everything in there. It just wasn't working out. So when I bought the medium away suitcase, it was perfect. It's not too big, not too small. So it's perfect for this 10 day trip to uh, Amsterdam and Bruges. Um, so I'm going to show you what I packed for this trip. Like I said, it's um, it's cold, so I mean it's not going to be like dead winter, but it is starting to get cold already. So I'm definitely going to be dressing in layers. Definitely a lot of walking involved and a lot of biking. So I wanted to bring clothes that were comfortable but also warm enough for the cold weather or kind of slightly chilly weather. Probably to people in Amsterdam, it's not that chilly. But since Crystal and I are both from warmer climates, I currently live in southern. In California and Crystal lives in Florida so to us you know anything below uh, 60 degrees is pretty chilly I know 60 degrees is probably nothing to people who live up north but anything below 60 starts getting a little bit cold for us um, we've been keeping track of the weather and it looks like it's gonna be like in the 50s during the day and then at night it, it drops pretty low and there are some activities we'll be doing at night, not a whole lot, so we need to dress appropriately for the cold weather because the last thing we wanna do is catch a cold and it'll ruin our trip. So let me show you what I packed and um, I'm also gonna show you, um, oh yeah, let me mention one more thing. So because I am checking in my meat, you can't carry on the medium carry on, it's too big. So I'm checking that in. And because I'm checking that in, there is a possibility that it might get lost or delayed. That has happened before. And you don't want that to ruin your trip. So what I do is then I carry on a duffel bag and I carry a couple extra days of clothes in there. I carry my toiletries in there and my makeup in there. Uh, so basically if my bag does happen to get lost or delayed, I still have you know a couple days of clothes on me and I really don't have to go out and buy. And I want to spend time having to go buy things. Um, and I, you know, because I already have a whole, <laughs> Chris and I already have like our itinerary planned. We have, you know, tickets to go see a museum that we can't cancel. So the last thing we want to do is spend time shopping and trying to find clothing and toothbrush and toothpaste and all that stuff. We don't want to do that on our trip. All right, so let me go ahead and get to what I have in my suitcase. In my medium size away suitcase that I'm going to be checking in, I, on one side, I packed a couple of sweaters, an extra jacket, um, a couple of pants, jeggings type of, um, yeah, I think they're called jeggings. I mean, they're, they're pants, they're denim, but they've got a lot of stretch to them. Um, I don't like wearing uncomfortable pants when I'm traveling. I, you know, I try to dress really comfortable. So these pants are super com comfortable and stretchy. I also um, packed a skirt and then I packed, uh, what else did I pack? Oh, I packed these Uniqlo Heat Tech Innerwear, which, you know, it's great for layering, so I'll be wearing the Heat Tech leggings under the skirt and the Heat Tech top under my sweaters. On the other side, I packed my extra shoes, extra boots. I also have a light jacket, a leather jacket that I'm packing, and then I packed one dress. I thought I should pack one dress, just one, because one night we are gonna kind of go out and eat somewhere nice, so I'm gonna, that's why I packed a nice dress for that evening. 
And then just little miscellaneous items, you know, like um, a head, uh, a headband. I don't want to say like a, you know, like the head warmers because it's gonna be cold. Um, socks, you know, underwear, uh, bra. So yeah, just like little miscellaneous items, I put all on the other side. So that's what I'll be taking with me for my check-in bag is a medium away suitcase and what I'm carrying on with me is my backpack and my duffel bag and in my duffel bag I am basically carrying this on just so that I have an extra pair of some extra pairs of clothes with me also my toiletry and my makeup just in case my check-in bag gets lost or delayed so in my duffel bag I am packing a couple of my sweaters um, pants and my toiletry and then also my makeup bag my jewelry bag, and then also my GoPro. So these are the, all the items that I'm packing in my duffel bag. Everything can fit in my duffel bag. I don't need that extra book bag necessarily, but I do like to carry uh, a book bag just because when I'm in Amsterdam, so when I'm in Amsterdam or Bruges, I'm gonna need that backpack. So in my backpack, I am going to carry uh, snacks, uh, my laptop, my personal items, you know, like my passport, my wallet, and my phone. So those are the two bags that I will be carrying on with me on my flight. And they're not, you know, like I said, like the duffel bag really isn't necessary. I could have fit all those things in my check-in suitcase, but I, I, I'm just scared or I like to be prepared that in the case that my bag does get lost or delayed, that I have clothes with me for at least two days, and that way I'm not spending time in Amsterdam or in Bruges looking for clothing because the last thing I wanna do is waste my time shopping instead of sightseeing, and uh, yeah. So that's why I am carrying on the duffel bag with extra clothes. So that's what I'm packing for Amsterdam and Bruges. Hopefully everything arrives fine, uh, that there's no you know lost or delayed luggage. I mean, if it happens, it happens. There's really not much I can do about it, and that's why I have that duffel bag just in case that does happen and I'm not you know stressing out or hard heartbroken that my things are gone. Um, I still have an extra bag of clothes and toiletries and accessories. And um, I really hope that it's not freezing there. I hope I packed accordingly and I think I think the clothes that I packed are warm. Um, I have the inner wear, the heat tech anywhere. I have nice warm cashmere wool sweaters that you know really provide a lot of warmth compared to acrylic or cotton material. And um, yeah, I am excited. I am excited to see my sister. We are actually not flying together. We're meeting up in Amsterdam. Crystal's coming from Florida. I'm flying in from California and I'm going to see her tomorrow. And I will give you an update when I get back to let you know how the things that I, let me you know, you know what I packed if it did work, um, the things that I packed that I didn't need, and then I'll kind of give you an update on um, how the weather was for, <laughs> for me, if, it, if, I, you know, if what I packed was warm enough or I needed to pack um, heavier coats or if I packed things that were like too warm. Anyways, I'll give an update when I come back. time absolutely loved Amsterdam and Bruges and if I had to go back to or if I ever want to go back to either of those cities again I definitely want to go back to Bruges if you've never been you definitely have to go because it is a beautiful beautiful city so anyways I think I did pretty good everything that I packed worked out great the weather was actually really nice while we were there. We got lucky and um, it was pretty much sunny the entire time. So during the day it was cool, but it was a nice cool. In the mornings and nights, it was a bit chilly. So you definitely need to layer and wear your heavy coats, um, especially for the mornings and um, at late nights. Um, actually even during the day I wore the coat cause it was cold. It was, it's just cold for me. I'm just, I get cold easily, but it wasn't like an unbearable cold. It was like a good cold. Um, so yeah, so I think, you know, what I packed was just perfect for this trip. Um, I will say there's only two things that I wish I would have packed and I wish I would have packed 
uh, a collapsible umbrella, kind of like those, you know, mini travel umbrellas. Um, that would have come in handy a couple of times because there were a couple of times where it was raining and we were getting wet and I was like, oh, I wish I had an umbrella because <laughs> my hair got damp and my clothes got a little bit wet and you, know, you just, you just kind of start to feel more cold when you're wet. So um, yeah, I wish I had an umbrella a couple of times. And um, to kind of go with that, I also wish I had a rain jacket because it would have kept me a little bit more dry um, and my book bag um, was getting wet too. So um, luckily, you know, it didn't rain like all day or when it, when we did get caught in the rain, it wasn't like pouring down rain. It was, it was, it wasn't drizzling. It was a little bit heavier than drizzling, but it was definitely raining um, enough to where we wanted to like try to avoid it by walking under, you know, buildings that had, um, a roof or something that was kind of hanging over so we can like walk underneath those um, so we don't get too wet. So yeah, those are the two things that I wish I would have brought was, you know, collapsible umbrella and a raincoat. But other than that, I think what I packed was perfect for this time of year. Oh, I did want to mention, sorry, one more thing. Um, I'm so glad I brought or I bought the medium away suitcase for this trip because when we were traveling from Amsterdam to Bruges and back, you know, we took the trains. If I had brought a bigger suitcase than that, it would have been difficult to travel with. One, because the doors to get into the train was pretty narrow, and then there's an area where you can store your luggage, and I don't think the big one would have really fit that well in their compartments. You can put luggage above your seat. I mean, your small suitcase will definitely fit above your seat. The medium one, I believe it does fit, however, it's so heavy that I don't have enough strength, upper body strength to lift it up, so I couldn't even put it above my seat even if I wanted to. So definitely, um, if you're going to be traveling, really think smart about your luggage and the size because the trains, you know, do have limited space for luggage and if you're going to bring something big, I think you're going to have difficulty traveling with it. And also one of the train stations where we had to change there was no elevator or escalator to get up to the platform. So it's going to be really difficult carrying a large suitcase up the platform. I was struggling with my medium suitcase and I saw these two older ladies. I want to say maybe they were like in their 60s and they were even, I mean, they. I mean, if I was struggling, and of course they were struggling like carrying their suitcase up the staircase and I would have helped them, but I was struggling myself. I mean, we all made it up, but just you know to let you know that you know there was one place where there was no escalator or elevator and we really had to carry our our luggage up the stairs ourselves if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel we post weekly videos until next time bye